I'm just wondering, what were you doing, Nintendo? Why? Give me more information. Hi! How are you, Joey? I know love a good Zelda night. I'm so glad to see you. Welcome on in. How are ya? I hope you're having a good night. How was your day today? So good to see you. I know I'm feeling it. Like, I feel like we're just gonna lace in a little bit of Zelda here and there. I don't know if I'll go on like a 20 hour bender like I did when Tears of the Kingdom came out. But like, you know, it's fine. Really good end of the work week. Oh, get a four day weekend now because of President's Day. Oh, that's nice. When is President's Day? Is that on like Monday or is that tomorrow? Tomorrow, I assume, right? Oh, is it Monday? Oh, nice. Wait, so you have to work tomorrow, but then like, wait, no, that would be three. Oh, a clerical day. Ah, I was like, wait, math. Hold on. That's so cool. I wonder if it go in. That's really nice. That was awesome. I'm so happy for you, though. That is fantastic. Heck yeah. Hmm. I was just talking about how we like played a little bit of Majora's Mask on stream, but then I was like, wait, Breath of the Wild because Tears of the Kingdom got announced. And then I jumped into that instead. And then we basically haven't played um, Breath of the Wild since. So, or uh, Majora's Mask since. I actually still have yet to complete um, Tears of the Kingdom, though. Oh, so you said I got to get nerdy with the kids about President's Day. Oh, I thought this looked familiar. Right. We played a little bit of it. Like, I'm in the really early stages that we pretty much more or less, like, completed um, before we ditched it for Breath of the Wild, which was super worth it, by the way. Um, but yeah, like. Yeah, pretty much. Um, shell tours went really well. That was a lot of fun. Oh, nerdy about President's Day. I know I love that. Yay! <clears throat> uh, Tears the King on my stream again? I think so, because I want to complete it. I want to. I think I just lost my hyper focus. I'm, I don't know, because I don't want to, like, restart it necessarily either, you know? Um, or I might complete it off camera. Not off camera, like, but off stream, but, like, record it for YouTube. Because I'm uploading Breath of the Wild episodes on Fridays now onto YouTube, because those ones are all going out. I've got, like, yeah, there's, like, 24 episodes or something, I think. Ocarina of Time's on there, and it's, like, entirely entirety and, like, all that, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, I have Twilight Princess now. I have access to Maj uh, Wind Waker. Obviously, we're playing Majora's Mask. See, I don't know. Just great stuff. So many good titles. And we're back from ads, by the way. Thank you so much, everybody. Okay. Did I accidentally, like, do something? Okay, we're good. I was like, did I accidentally, like, move something? Okay, so there's, like, another little area. Okay, this is what I wanted to find. Okay. I think there might be, like, another heart container somewhere, but I gotta figure that out. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just gonna go here and see where this launches me. Okay, there's nothing there. Nothing here. <clears throat> the door to the clock tower opens uh, only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Bruh, I'm not local. What does that mean? I know what that means. All jokes aside. All jokes aside. Oh, yeah. I remember this. This is like the inn or whatever. I know. I like how silly he looks in this, too. He looks like a... He's a Deku scrub. It says, employees only. No admittance. Okay, well, are you hiring? Sneaking into other people's rooms? You're the worst. <laughs> Yes, 
please. Oh, that's weird. They're playing cards and stuff. Please. Uh, what is that? Underwear? Excuse you? Dude. Gonna go bye, Sid. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll be playing Jelly Bean Legacy in The Sims 4 tomorrow. Um, would you like to join our little card game? You're joking, aren't you, brother? He'll make our game too complex. Whatever do you mean? It's easy playing against you. You look you just you look just like me, so I already know what you look like when you're bluffing. Ooh. Oh my god, you guys. Jesus! I think they're the guys that were like juggling in the square or something during the day. So nerdy president flex, my sister-in-law's um, father-in-law is, is cosplays, but like professionally. Oh, that's so cool. So he gets um, hired to perform for schools, national parks, et cetera, and Theodore Roosevelt is actually really, really cool. Wait, that's so neat. That's so cool. I like seeing people that like, get paid for their their neat little interests and profe and, and professions and interests and all that kind of stuff you know an open book i like the little cow figurine on there that's so cute so there's no one back there right now that's always so creepy like why y'all look like that why y'all gotta have that? I don't like that at all. I was like, I don't like those. I'm just gonna leave. Imagine, no, that's like a sleep paralysis demon. Oh my God. Basically, it feels like it. Hello. I have never been in this room before. Oh, Tortoise, you're late. Tomorrow is another early day, so good night. I'll read you a story tomorrow. Um, sure. What? <laughs> Granny's Diary. We're going to take refuge at Romani Ranch tomorrow. I guess it really will fall. Leaving my lifelong home and fleeing is unbearable, but nothing can be done. I think I'll take several of Gampy's favorite books. Interesting. What is that? Um. No, Zelda, like the old school Zelda games are so scary. I don't know if it's like the graphics or whatever. Oh. Paper, please, you have to wipe your butt? Is this what this is about? Do I give him the land title deed? <laughs> Yay! It's paper! Oh, you saved me. Did you just literally want toilet paper, my guy? Also, have you fallen into the toilet? This fell down here. I'll give it to you. It's probably full of poop. Oh my God. I mean, that's one way to do it. Oh my God. I like how there's like a stack of probably paper right there. Like, I mean, I'll take it. Oh my God. That's so funny though. Okay. That's something that I've never encountered before. I say that like I've, I've played this before, but this is like probably just about like the first, like pretty close to the furthest I've gotten. Oh, I like the little onion on the counter. There's little buggies in here. There's bugs everywhere in your kitchen. Like, what the heck? Okay. 
at least we found like another heart container that's kind of fun i thought i was gonna get like pulled in and i'm like oh god guys just wait all right so like um is this like a door that i can go into i think this is oh okay so it's totally like where i came out all right super good so we it's the second day and it's about to become like the first day or the last day i think the third day um and then we have till tomorrow night in game to like do our business and whatever so i've already got the land deed i have like the bomber kids thing i don't think there's anything else that i can really like mess with at this point i could go like gambling 6 a.m to 10 p.m if i like really wanted to but i don't know if there's like another another heart piece or heart container piece that i'm looking for right now so i found the one that's on top of like the clock tower obviously which they put that up there to like lead you there um and then i found the butt wipe guy i guess but i thought there was like another one somewhere that i saw when i was running around oh my god hi frog He's so cute! It doesn't look like there's anything that I can see so far. At least in there. I'm just gonna like do a quick run around. So this is like that arched alleyway with all of like the little shops. So maybe I'll check that out. Uh, curiosity shop open at 10 p.m. So open in the middle of the night. So I won't be able to do that tonight though. Cause like, yeah. Trading post, oh yeah. So I have the shield, like potions and like arrows and other random things. And then I also have him. Um, Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget time and dance until night. I don't want to do that because I, I don't want to risk it right now. Um. By the way, I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. Oh yeah, it's the song that we have to learn later. Um, if you play that strange song backward, you could slow the flow of time. There we go, because I have that written down in my little notepad. It's the same thing from the other Scarecrow that we learned. I think they're technically the same Scarecrow, but yeah. Um, hello? Give me. Thank you. Amazing. Sorry about your pottery. Only a little bit, though. Because, like, rupees when I'm, like, because, you know, just that. <gasps> Ooh, it's the bomb shop, I think. <gasps> I think there's a Goron in here. I love Gorons. He's so cute. A little guy. He's just a little guy. I love him. Oh. Um, hello. Did you come to buy a powder keg? This is just between us, but I have a huge bomb that the shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product is so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm sorry I even brought it up. Oh. I don't think there's anything that I necessarily want from here yet. Ah, uh, well, that's a small customer. Be careful during the fireworks. You can use bombs once you become an adult. Uh, you can't use any of them, but feel free to look around. All right, so they have bomb chews. They have 10 bombs and then, of course, like a bomb bag. You and few people around will still be open, so come again. All right. Duly noted. Oh yeah! Is this, this is like the bank or something? I remember this being like a thing. Kind of, I don't really. Uh, hey there little guy, once you deposit some rupees nowadays, even if people have money, they don't deposit anything. Nothing, nothing. So for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. Um, so I'm not gonna like deposit any rupees right now. I think there's some like perk to that. 
but I don't remember right now. Ah, uh, oh yeah, the swordsman school. Oh my god. mess with anything right now in here i am so confused because there's little cow statues everywhere and i'm just wondering like when we're gonna figure that out the post office oh don't mind if i do currently out delivering mail please wait a little while oh yeah it's the guy that like runs around everywhere okay that's kind of fun the lottery shop oh and the freaking cow statues everywhere. Nintendo doesn't do things on accident. <sighs> they don't unintentionally put things in places. There's gotta be some sort of like a reason. Oh my god, this dog, get out of here! Because he'll chase you only when you're a duck is scrub. He won't chase you when you're a kid. Okay. So now we're just kind of like wandering around and checking all the little businesses that we can, just so we can remember what's what. Oh yeah, there's like a treasure chest shop. This is so weird and trippy. Everything in this game is so like trippy and weird. And it just feels like a bad dream. And I don't know if that is the aspect that, because. Like, I was talking earlier about how I feel like it felt rushed for those reasons. But I, I genuinely don't remember if it felt rushed because of, like, the weird trippiness to it, if it was, like, intentional. But I also know that this game, like, Term of the Field, when we get out into the field, it really feels kind of thrown together um, in a way. And I don't know if it's because it's a stylistic choice or, like, what. Stock pop in. Weren't we just in here? Oh yeah, this is totally it. It was nighttime, so she wasn't here. We're gonna be taking refuge in the evening like the others. Uh, you should run too. It seems like it's going to fall tomorrow morning. All right, so they're like on about the moon again. I think is what it was. Jesus Christ, that's right. I remember him. Wait! I remember you can't actually catch him when he's like out here, I think, if I remember. Because he's too fast. The milk bar. Okay, see, again with the cows. I know like Lon Lon Ranch was like a thing. Oh my god, everything in here. This is so cute though. Big milk bar. Is this like a stage? It seems like it is. Interesting. There's all sorts of like little cow figurines everywhere. I've got questions, you know? What's this? So it says, um, patron guidelines for the milk bar. Latte. We offer our customers limited run milk. Thus, we are members only establishment. Those who do not have proof of membership will be refused service. So we have to like, wow, some pretty crazy stuff. <laughs> I do remember that. Oh yeah, it's the freaking people from like, ugh. It's the lovers from the one place, um, from like the Hyrule Castle place. I remember that being like a thing. I'm just making out all the time. This is like one of the games too. Remember the code? Um, five two one three four. Go to the secret hideout before you forget it. It's an East Clock Town. Oh, don't worry. Been there, done that, kid. Don't you even worry. Oh yeah, it's the shooting gallery. God, the way that I suck at these games. I am not good at these, especially with like the older controls. They're so like less refined and stuff and fine-tuned. They're so bad. Okay, and that's like the shooting game or whatever that we had before. Open the chest for something splendid. The thrill of surprise. Treasure chest shop. Okay. Okay. 
night of the final day. 12 hours remain. So we gotta like basically wait here until it's like midnight for the most part. Hey Deku Kid, you waiting for us to finish the bridge from the clock? Um, wait from the from the festival tower and the clock tower entrance up there. Sorry, my apprentice is panicked and ran away. This is all we get for um for festival tower. It's not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. Even if we went to the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the clock tower entrance. I, I apologize for all of this. I wish I could scare that moon away. I like how some people are just like, well, it's the end of times, and then others are just like, yeah, whatever. Oops. I think there might be something up there. Or like, I might not be able to get to it yet. <gasps> okay. Because there's also that thing over there on the other side. <gasps> Purple ruby? I don't think that I can have... Okay. So... I wonder if I should go, like, make a deposit. Also, can I walk on this? Because sometimes you can, like, tightrope walk your way across here. Nope, it doesn't seem like those have, like, a hitbox on them. Should I go try to deposit that stuff? Maybe those rupees? I could really quickly, because, like, we have a little bit of time. Because I think the way that it works... You can time travel, like go back in time. And like the mask within three days. Um the game ends. It's a game over. Um here we go. Um deposit some rupees. I'm totally gonna do all of it. I don't remember what happens with this. I don't think I've ever done this, actually. Link, is it? What's your name? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. <gasps> is it disappearing? Am I getting, like, bested by this guy? Your special ink. Is it disappearing ink? I guess, you know what? I'm gonna, I'll remember this. I will remember you. Um, it doesn't leave any marks and it's not gonna hurt. Now, I'll know when I see you. Um, all right. Uh, 99 rupees from you. Okay, come back and deposit some after you save up a bunch. Okay. I don't know what that's gonna do, but hey, we're good, I guess. I think it's like 9 p.m., so I'm totally gonna go here. And we're just gonna wait. Cause it's 10. Oh, yeah, so I literally, I think it's gonna be like right when it's at the top of this. Cause that's like midnight, right? And it's like nighttime. I'm at least under the assumption. Ooh. We did not get the mask yet, no. Here we go. Then this uh, door is gonna open up. Cause it's midnight, so that means the moon is is gonna like do that. It's gonna like hit the top. Or whatever, or it like goes down and opens the door. That's right, it like it falls and then it opens the door. It doesn't like hit the top of it or something. drama don't stop now you can get up there now 
I know. Okay. Ocarina. Sis! Oh my god. Ah, oh, Jill, I've been looking for you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you uh, gave that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. Woo! Excuse me. No! What are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're, uh, you're our friend after all of that? Well, whatever. Even if they were, uh, smack. I know, there's totally just like a smack. I love it. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. He. <laughs> just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Skull Kid's wild. I like how she's like a cinematic zoom in on the nose. Like, oh my god. Ocarina of Time back. Princess Zelda gave you this prince, this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A, um, and the four buttons to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda coming come rushing back to you. You are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? So this is at the end of Ocarina of Time. Technically. Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe my heart in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. I'm praying. I'm praying that your journey will be a safe one. Um, if something should happen to you, remember the song. I know the sound design in this game is amazing. So it's right A down, right A down. I always write it, I know like it's in my like file or whatever on here, but like I always like to jot it down somewhere else so I can just have it. I have like my own little channel where I have things written down for the game. Right A down, right A down. The Song of Time! This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. Gotta remember, your Song of Time was something that we learned a little bit later in Ocarina of Time, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think you still knew it nonetheless. What are you doing? Uh, what are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together. Getting that old ocarina back isn't gonna help us. Is it though? Is it though? Anybody, somebody, got us a time. Please help us, we need more time. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna apply it. I think I usually put it on that one. We don't have lips, so we do this. <laughs> When did you use that instrument? Apparently, we just have it. It's fine. It's good. Ignore it. Um, okay, so...
save and return to the dawn of the first day. Goodbye! Shoop! I remember the first time that I saw this, it like fricked with my head so much. Like, this game is trippy. I'll never be able to get over that, ever. A nightmare. Because basically this entire game is like a, a race against the clock, but you can constantly like manipulate time with your ocarina to do it. Um, what just happened? Everything has everything was ooh, everything is normal. It started over. Ooh. I think one of the things that you can technically do is like you can get the on the third day I think you can get the purple rupee every day technically like every time and then just go deposit it and then get more and more money I think if I think is what I'm assuming that instrument Wait, that's it, your instrument. The mask salesman said that if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Did you completely forget or what? Okay. Stop it! Oh yeah, it's the weird girl or whatever. I never remember. She only comes out like a little bit. I always remember being like enthralled by her when I was a child. <gasps> like, <gasps> with that character specifically. Okay, so. What now? I'm so confused. Welcome back to the time traveling. I know, right? The time traveling nonsense for sure. R Stop right there! Did you intend to return to the swamp alone? It is dangerous outside the walls, and I cannot allow a child like you to leave unaccompanied. You're not allowed to pass through. Uh, adults don't have to carry a weapon. That's right, I gotta remember. from that team. He's so creepy. You got it! You got it! And listen to me, please play the song that I'm about to perform and remember it well. <laughs> it's so, like, dramatic. I love it. right down left right down left right down left right down I jot these down for my notes I don't remember what the song is called I think it's like song of healing yeah So weird. I don't think I will ever be able to like get over this. So one of the things that like I remember an initial thought that I have as we like like are those masks people basically is kind of what I'm thinking you know like or forms of people because obviously I did the song of healing 
and like it turns it into masks. So like, yeah, I know he's, I know he's like, bye, right, exactly. So that's like one of my initial thoughts that I have, but I don't know. Um, I'm sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Ah, yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. If you're not the map for the mask, magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you, were, you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. Got the deco mask to keep as a memento. Press start to set it to one of the C keys to select the item screen. Um, where the mask will see to inhabit the body of a deku. Play press C again to return to normal. <laughs> now I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please give me that which you promised me. Patience. Don't tell me. Whew. My mask. You did get it back, didn't you? What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. The mask that was stolen from me, it is called Majora's Mask. It is an accursed item. Um, from legend that is said to have been used by an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that the evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask, mask were so great. Ancient ones fearing such catastrophes sealed the mask in the shadows forever, preventing its misuse. But now that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. <clears throat> I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask when I finally had it. I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was the unwelcomed feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now that Imp has it. I'm begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. Really, you do it for me? I was certain you'd tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. Doesn't seem very promising. Believe in your strengths, me. He's so eccentric. I love it. It's very creepy. That mask, the Skull Kid uses the power of the mask to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. In the swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Tail was trying to tell us about, I bet he was referring to those four areas just outside of town. There's one in each compass direction. What do you suppose that he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He'll, ah, uh, he always skips important stuff. I guess we should just go and find out. If we go through that gate straight ahead, he'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. And I can like grab the stupid dog and I can put it in the, in the water if I want to. But there's like certain things that you can and can't do as like a child, like when you're a human. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. So let's see here. So you're definitely like in a very different position here. And I I think this is probably something like that symbol. I don't know. This game is Match Race. I, I played Ocarina of Time like growing up, but this is like, I remember watching my older brothers play it when I was younger, um, but he only got like halfway through it because it was too much of like a psychological, like weird thing for him. And like he hated like the time and stuff, but like I'm excited to get through it myself. Like I played, I played Breath of the, I played Breath of the Wild, which is fantastic. And then I'm like a third of the way through Tears of the Kingdom. Then I haven't played that one since. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this one might be Swamp, maybe. Uh, Sandra's just outside town wall, so I cannot allow a child like you to. A sword, yes. 
Thank you. At the ripe age of like nine, let me out into the wild. Get out of here, mister. Okay, it's such a weird mind frick this game is. Like, time situation, but it's bad because you hate it, right? So this game always gave me this weird, like, it feels either half done or thrown together to me. And I don't know if that's like on purpose, if that makes sense. Like, I genuinely don't know if it's literally like on purpose, but I don't know. It just always feels like super strange to me. Um. See, there's like these little like things. There's like a skull kid drawing right here. It's so interesting. Ah! Look at it. Oh, and you can see the little fairies next to it. Oh, I remember this. Tail and I drew this with the skull kid when I first met him. He told us that he had be, uh, been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone. Makes me so sad. It's all rainy and melancholy, you know? Love the rain sound. I know it's so soothing, isn't it? I always forget that the skull kid has like a beak or something. It's so weird. Or that skull kids do. Right. <laughs> Not the Lost Woods theme song. Oh my God, takes back the memories. I'm sure it was because he was always playing tricks so nobody wanted to play with him. But uh, to do what he just did because of that, he like mugged somebody. <laughs> Imagine like of all the masks that he wanted to pick, it was that one. Once he got his power, Oh my god, it's so funny. Like, the poles around here. Like, if you look at them at a certain angle, they look like a Skull Kid face. You know, like, this direction. They look like a Skull Kid face, if you look at it. They're kind of fun. It's kind of neat. Probably not intentional, obviously. Maybe. I don't know, Nintendo does some crazy things sometimes. You just never know. But like, I don't know, the way that Termina Field is set up is so weird to me. It feels so like piecemeal. And I don't know, like I know the tone of this game is obviously very, very different. It's very fever dream, right? It, isn't it? See, do you know what I mean though? Like if we go through and just look at the way things are laid out, like I know this is obviously like a really old game from like the nineties or something, but like things are just kind of plopped in the middle of the field. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. And I don't know, like, I know this is obviously, like, a timeline, like, right up to, like, it's directly after Ocarina of Time. But I'm just like, what's going on? You know, it's so weird. It feels like it's, like, a poorly made, like, beta game. And I don't know if that's, like, on purpose. Or whatever. You know, there's, like, this weird desert. It's just, like, right there. It's not as, like, seamless as... Like, things were on Hyrule Field. So it's just really weird to like think about. I also think I'm getting stalked by like a bird right now. You're also in an ad break right now, but 
I think you can kind of see what I'm talking about. And like those weird like monsters with like the giant mouths. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not talking like graphically, obviously, but like, anyways, it just feels weird. Um, interesting to hear from the devs, right? Because I know that they made this one very, very, very quickly after Ocarina of Time. I think Ocarina of Time came out in like, two, like 1997 or something like that, or 1998. And then this one came out like a year later or something crazy. Like it was in, in the in like a dev standpoint, it was like a really fast turnaround. Because it was like a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. I don't want to get like attacked by those because I know they have like magic and hearts and crap like that. Oh no, not Keith. Don't do that to me, Keith. Get out of here. I hate Keith so much. They're so annoying. Oh, jerk. remember how to do like the battle system and stuff like, it's just, like the fighting and like the timing of everything um certain time frame right it was like one year it was so close oh shoot i forgot about the fact that they like come back <laughs> after a little bit oh god that's right Attributes? Oh, 100%. Yeah. I heard of theories where people were like, oh my god, this is like, it's like purgatory or something, but I don't think there's any like actual proof of that. Box is ridiculous. What the heck? I think he sells the map out the woodland map out here for cheaper. <gasps> I don't have any money. Yeah. Oh no, I gotta go to the bank. Green clothes, white fairy, sir. Could you pretend to be a forest fairy? <gasps> oh my! I love how like what's it called? Um, he's just so eccentric and so like. I can't think of the word I'm talking about, but yeah. Um, Reincarnation of the fairy. So I'm here waiting for the fairy of my own. Uh, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky. I think he sells them for like... Yeah, 20 rupees for Woodfall, which is what I want here. I gotta go to the bank. Because I think I deposited everything, unless I literally got ripped off, which I don't know. I will find out, I guess. Feels like Tingle always feels so like. I can't put my finger on it. There's a word. Um. I don't remember what the word is. Thank you for place through. Thank you. I, I remember I've gotten to like this point basically where I got to the swamp, but that was about it. I don't remember, I don't know anything about, oh, you were like nine, right? No, for sure. I, I played Ocarina of Time when I was like eight or seven or something like that. I was really little when I played Ocarina of Time the first time, but then, um, yeah, playing it as like a 32 year old or 31 year old at that point was like a weird trip. It was crazy. Oh yeah, I gotta go this way. Let me go see. Wait a second. Oh yeah, I gotta meet the owl. See what else happened. So I wasn't a human kid when I did that. When I deposited the money. I hope they didn't rip me off. I guess I'll find out. Oh my god. Take a look at you. Ah uh, yes, Link. If I remember you're the little guy who deposited 99 rubies camp uh no like very 
Oh my god, uh... No, it's not the word that I'm thinking of. It's not camp. Um, I'm gonna withdraw like 20 rupees. I literally can't remember what it is. Because was it 20 or was it 40? I think it was 20 for the map. Remembered numbers better. My brain just goes off in 20 different directions all the time. Okay. And then now to the swamp, which is straight through here. I think. Oh, wait, no. We have to, like, oh, you want to see a magic trick? I like how he immediately just gets, like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Get out of here. <laughs> Sir, so weird. Okay, I know there's obviously like a bunch of things that I can do with like the Deku scrubs and stuff in there. <gasps> Ooh. That's weird. Cause like I can feel the rumbling below that. Like what, uh, cause if you had like the, the whatever stone thing. I know we didn't even mention it. He was just like, yeah, it's just like a normal day in Termina. Things are weird. Oh my God, I hate Keith so much. Getting late here, aw, oh, bye. I'll see you later, nerdy. I'll be live at 10 a.m. Central with more Sims tomorrow. Oh, hello. Maybe I should like use a sword instead of just rolling all over the place. Wait a second. Oh no, not the stupid coyotes! I literally hate them so much. I remember, they, I'm surprised they didn't like jump out of my skin. That's right, it's a game of timing because Nintendo. There you go. Oh no. There's another one, it looked like. I'm glad I didn't, like, jump out of my skin. That would have sucked so bad. Oh, son of a biscuit. Um, cool. Oh, I didn't realize I could, like, stun. That's kind of fun different there you go all right tingle what are we doing what's this green clothes white fairy sir could you be a chance by a full be a florist fairy god there's a word about him that i'm thinking and i can't remember what Uh, my father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I like how all of his maps are probably drawn with crayons. It's so funny. Like, look at this little drawing. You can see, like, the mountains and stuff on it. <laughs> Give me your map. I seriously, I hope that it's 20 rupees instead of 40. Like, I think it might be. Tangle sure is a look. He is. Yes. Okay, because I only wanted the woodfall because I think they drop in price when you buy them where he is. If that makes sense. So, yeah. I think. I don't know, though, because this is, like, as far as I've made it. <laughs> Ooh, okay, map of woodfall. The red arrow on the map shares where you entered, and the yellow arrow shows, shows your current location. <clears throat> well, a call again! <laughs> <laughs> These are the magic words that Tinkle created himself. Don't steal them. How I imagine him to talk. Don't steal them. That's fun of my life. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love, like, I can't wait to play Banjo-Kazooie again. Because I really want to play that one too. I know when Tinkle isn't a look. I'm going to risk it. 
I know there's I know there's a keys right here and it's probably gonna Get off the lawn! Okay, wait. Alright, keys. Alright, thank you. I saw a heart. You never beat Banjo Kazooie. I beat it as a kid. I never played um what was it? Um Banjo Chewy though. Oops, I could have rolled, that's okay. I never played like Banjo Chewy or anything. What is this? Where are we going? Swamp shooting gallery ahead. Okay. Why? Nintendo doesn't do anything like unintentionally. So like I'm nosy and I just got to find out. Okay. I don't know why this is here, but I'm sure there's a reason for it. Okay. Oh yeah, the swamp. I remember this a little bit. Banjo scared me, so I stopped playing Mario Golf. Oh really? Why did Banjo scare you? Was it the, the witch? I can still hear it. <laughs> like grungy or grundy or something like that. <gasps> okay. Ye who hold the sacred sword leave proof of our encounter. Oh, there we go. Do you have like a Deku thing for me? Do you have like a Deku stick? Ooh, or a nut. I'll take a nut. I'm okay with that. Um, Banjo is always a real distinct memory for me. I remember being really hard and I was playing uh, as probably my first platformer. Oh, that's so fun. I love it. Ooh, you can hold the sacred power, the sword, at least for our encounter. Okay, there's something here. Fairies! There we go. Oh, like there's sword or something. Oh, is this how you save? I think this is how you save. Because I was trying to remember how you save. Yes. That's what it was. I um because I remember in Ocarina of Time. You left the menu and you can save. But yeah. Um, you can save your progress and quit here. When you reselect my your file, my face will appear by your file name. This indicates that the next time you reopen your file, you resume playing at this very place and time with your current status. If you reopen this owl file, then reset without saving at an owl statue, you will lose the progress you've made here. The next time you open the file, you'll restart the day one with the status you had when you last saved using the song of time. Save your progress up to this point and quit playing. Um, I don't want to like quit playing right now. But like, hey. <clears throat> It's I like, because it's still the first day. Oh yeah, I gotta remember to like transform. <gasps> There's like a heart container piece up there. Yeah, we're normal now. Yeah, we um ended up talking to the mass the the salesman guy. Um, and then he gave us a song called the Song of Healing which uh, makes you go back to your regular, it heals you, it like makes your regular form and then it gives you a mask. So you can like go back and forth between like the, um, whatever form that you took when you like had that mask or like whatever, or like, yeah, that whatever form like that mask came from. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business with focus on a Deku scrub clientele. Actually, I want to do business at the palace, but there's this big octopus and nothing can really be done about it. So I set up shop here. Do you know what magic beans are, sir? I can sell you one for 10 rupees. Do you need any magic beans? I don't have enough money for that right now, but it's fine. You ever want any? Look me up. Are you like a dealer, sir? What are you doing? I also want to know. Oh... Jesus, I feel like I can get that heart container piece after he leaves there. Probably, I assume. Tourist information. 
Oh yeah, it's like the photo thing. Ah, uh, blimey, where is he? That spoiled child is off playing hooky again. Magic means, mm, ah, right. A child, um, his age is no business searching for fairies. Oh, um, welcome. Oh, the pictograph contest we're holding is only for humans. Sorry. Are you kidding me, sir? Old Kobe's boat cruise. Ticket office closed. Please inquire the magic hags potion shop near the edge of the swamp. Okay. Near the edge of the swamp. The noises. I know. I love the way that they are the, the, the noises that they make the voice acting and like everything about this game is just so fun. About the way like these old games were made and stuff. They're so fantastic. Ooh, don't mind if I do. I wonder if I can buy like a magic bean from him now. Cause I have like just barely enough rupees. I think we might be able to do that. Maybe I'll just give it a try to see if I can get that heart container. Cause I think if I get that, I'll have like a heart piece actually. <laughs> so much better than Breath of the Wild, right? No, the, the voice acting. Thanks for stopping by, blah, blah, blah. Um, magic beans are. Um, yes, I'll take one. You don't know how to use magic beans, and I guess I can't sell you any. What? I guess. Oh my god. Uh, don't do this to me, sir. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I don't really use this very often or ever, but it's good to have it just in case. There's like the boat thing, obviously. Can do that. potion shop over there okay i think that's the way to like the palace perhaps hags potion shop ahead oh no i don't care see you later stupid stubby thing i don't mind if i just get a cool couple of those and then i think Remember, if there's actually like something that you can do with the zombies or something here, I don't actually remember. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, Majora's Mask for you. It's pretty interesting. I played a lot of Ocarina of Time growing up, and I completed Ocarina of Time last year around like May, I think. May, April. Something. I don't remember exactly when I did it. And then I played Tears of the Kingdom when it came out. Uh, and like Breath of the Wild. But, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty fun. All right, guys. So Twitch is going to play some ads in just a second. But I'm going to go ahead and take a quick pause and let these ads play. So thank you so much. Um, and I'll be back in just a few. Thank you again. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, honestly. Um... Please feel free to take your fresh spring water home with you. Oh yeah, I remember this. Kind of. But this is about up to the point where I've gotten so far. Like I really haven't got very far in this game. Like I started to play this immediately after Ocarina of Time because I know it's like a continuation of the child timeline, technically. Um, but like I haven't really done a lot in it. I basically ditched it and then I played Breath of the Wild because that's when they announced that Tears of the Kingdom was coming out and I wanted to make sure that I was like ready to play that one because last year around this time we had like a giant Zelda kick <laughs> it was a lot of fun but super cool it was good stuff 
<laughs> oh my god, my artist is playing Majora's Mask right now. That's actually really fun. She's been going through the timeline and stuff. Um, and she started with, like, uh, like chronologically. So she started with... What's it called? Um, she started with uh, Skyward Sword, and then she's, like, gone along uh, the timeline. I think she's gotten, like, every single game. I think if I did, like, a timeline chronology thing, I would only do the 3D games. Interested? Oh, the, the lore is so good. Like, it is so good in this game. Um, all of them kind of, like, link together. But, like, in really weird ways. <clears throat> There's, like, three different timelines. There's, like, I think it's three, if I remember. Yeah, Ocarina of Time, yeah, basically, it, like, starts. Um, with like Skyward Sword and then there's like a few games and then Ocarina of Time is where like all the time traveling and like different outcomes then kind of happen and then it like it splits into like the hero lives and like succeeds timeline at the child timeline or the uh or the hero is dead timeline kind of thing where you fail to seal uh the main the big bad evil it's pretty crazy um this one is the is a direct lead up, so this is the first game in the child timeline. Yeah, I think this is the the first one in the child timeline, <laughs> and it's a direct. It, it's very complicated. It's so crazy. Um, but Breath of the Wild, I didn't know if I wanted to play it. It's all the guardians in the end of law and boss battle, right? Guardians are terrifying. I, however, I feel like. Tears of the Kingdom is more terrifying, though. Like, I, yeah. Tears of the Kingdom is such a mess. It's horrifying. Um, yeah, that game is, like, psychologically messed up. As it is for, like, this. Like, it's so crazy. Like, like Majora's Mask is really weird in, like, a psychological way. And same with Tears of the Kingdom, in my opinion. If there's, there had to be, like, a parallel to it. Mm. All right, we are back from ads. Thank you so much for hanging, everybody. Yeah, this is one of the games that I haven't really played yet. I also have uh, access to Twilight Princess, and then I also have... Um, what's the other one? Uh, Wind Waker as well, so I'm excited about that. Hi, Beep. Welcome back. It's so old. What are we playing? This is um, Majora's Mask. So this is one of the OG Zelda games. I played Ocarina of Time on stream at one point um, last year, and we completed that one. That was a lot of fun. Hey, Gabella. Thank you so much for the 34 months. Welcome on in. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yay! How are you? Oh, my head is coming. My headache's coming back. Um, um, no, that's a problem. See, we sell potions to humans only. Don't they work on anything but humans. Sorry, you have to leave. Um, watch a magic trick. I love them. Like, these, uh, these witches are, um, spirit temple bosses in Ocarina of Time. Her and her sister. Kume, I think. Are you by chance the boat cruise customer? How unfortunate. Kume has gone into the woods out back looking for mushrooms. Now that I think about it, she's a bit late coming back. Say, could I find her, go find her for me? Yes, it's, uh, it's getting lost in those woods. Ask the monkeys that live there. So we have like, obviously red potion, green potion, and blue potion. Yeah. This game is so weird. Beep, beep. Thanks for the unlark. I really appreciate it. Oh, you fell asleep. Welcome back, Ashy. How are ya? My headache is coming back, guys. I hate it. I want to keep playing video games. I've, had, I've been battling like a weird headache pretty much all day. Just gonna sneak right past ya. Don't mind me. I think it's technically faster to go here. Twitch being twitchy. Is it really? I do think it's faster. Rather than like swimming. 
the bosses in this game. Oh, really? I, I can't remember seeing, like, any of them. Because this is about as, like, far as I've gotten, pretty much. I think I got, like, a little bit. I think I got to, like, the castle, if I remember, but that's about it. Sword and shield upgrade stack, which is previous game. Upgrade time, it gets confusing. Oh, really? Okay, no, that's good. That's good to know, though. heading our way having a week of being in the 60s and my head is not happy right i wonder if it's like something like that if there's like weird fronts coming on in because sometimes that just happens with me you know it's like so messed up my stupid <laughs> brain is being mean today okay so i think this is a good point to stop for me this evening. Um, I also have like a bunch of editing and re recording and stuff I wanna get done for YouTube for like Sim stuff. If you guys don't know, I stream, I'm actually a full-time content creator and I stream The Sims a lot, but I like delving into like random games that I love like Zelda. Well, that's pretty awesome. Um, I love watching Zelda, right? We didn't really even get that far, but like we at least made a little bit of headway. Maybe I'll like, I'll dive into it a little bit tomorrow if I'm feeling like it. So we'll kind of see. But I have like a ton of things that I want to try to accomplish and I'm feeling really off today too. But like it is what it is. It's all good. Messes with your allergies the most. Oh, e right. Uh, so, cause you have so many things, to do so many things right. That's so true. It's so fun. I hope your head feels better soon. Same. I'm glad I powered through like a little bit of a stream today, though. That was really nice. But um, make sure you guys check out all my social media pages. There's my schedule. I'll be back tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central. There's our Discord, my YouTube channel and all that. But I've got some editing and recording I need to do. So thank you guys again, especially since I've been like lower energy um, and all that, especially since I've like been feeling kind of poopy right now at the moment. But, um, do you guys want more Majora's Mask? Um, my artist, Maple, is actually starting right now. I think she's on, like, the, like, the second or third temple. If you don't want spoilers, then <clears throat> run away right now. I'm not gonna watch, because, like, I don't know at this point. But Maple is streaming Majora's Mask, if you guys want to, like, watch that with me. Um, I know for sure. I can't wait. So we're going to play Jelly Bean Legacy in like our, we're going to do actual gameplay tomorrow because we were meant to do that on like Monday and Tuesday. But, um, my, I didn't have internet, so that kind of messed everything up. But I'm going to go probably maybe lay down for a little while, try to get this to go away because it's like right behind my eye. It's not fun. Okay. Let's go raid Maple, you guys. So if you guys are new here, or if you have a sub, make sure to copy and paste the Beanie Weenies incoming with the little Benjamins. Otherwise, the hand tarts will do. Just make sure to tell Maple that I sent you. Um, But I'm going to go take it easy for a little bit, get some dinner, and then I'm going to go edit. I love you. As I always say, tomorrow's a beautiful day, especially you in it. So let's go boop, and let's go say hi to Maple, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Can't wait to see you.